All right, well, it looks like our slow snow melt will continue now for the next several days as temperatures stay above the freezing mark. Uh, not really seeing much of a cool down until maybe next week. We'll keep an eye on that, but we do have some rain and snow that will be developing east of the Mississippi River Valley and then a bigger storm as we head into the late weekend and early next week time period. Well, this is a look at high temperatures from yesterday. Look at Milwaukee, Detroit, up to 60, 62 in Chicago, 71 in Kansas City, and Minneapolis sitting at 47. Uh, looking at those temperatures to be anywhere from 10, 15, almost 25 degrees above average from yesterday's day. And again, that is uh, helping to kind of cut into the snowfall on the ground. Now we have eight inches in Minneapolis, a foot and a half in Duluth, and then almost two feet in uh, Marquette. This is a look at how much snow we could be dealing with as we headed to uh, the next couple of days, maybe a few inches from Milwaukee over to Detroit, at least into lower Michigan, but not a terrible amount. Uh, this is how the storm system starts to uh, develop. We get into a little bit more active weather later on this afternoon. Some spotty showers and thunderstorms developing across the Ohio Valley on the northern colder side of that. That's where that wintry weather will be. And then uh, we do quiet down for the end of the week. But again, late weekend, early next week, another storm system will be developing and that looks to be a little bit more formidable. So maybe some one plus inch tallies of rain down into uh, the Ohio Valley, the lower Ohio Valley. But that's where we expect to see maybe a little more flooding.